happening to everybody? Um, Scott, coming at you from the tackle shop here at Saltwater Scale Model Studios. I uh, want to thank you guys as always for uh, taking the time out of your lives to uh, you know, um, see what's going on here. I want to give a really, really big heartfelt shout out to or thank you to um, Atomic Dog for including me in his shout outs. Um, uh, it really means a lot. You know, this community is great and uh, I think we should all do more of it and help each other out and, and uh, um, let everybody know whose channels are out there. So thank you, my friend. Um, the shop car is finished, um, but I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Um, I've got some surprises. I've got some things coming that I want to do. Uh, uh, with this with this shop car build so in the meantime um, I, I moved on and for whatever reason um, I'm building this 32 five window Ford coupe and started ratting it out and uh, I just got you know you guys know how it goes man you just get inspired right or, or uh, energized and you have this vision and so I've done um, um, I don't know just gone crazy with it so there's a lot to show you. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, checking in. Now hang tight. I hope you dig it. And um, yeah, much love. Peace, brothers. All right, all right. Well, here we are, guys. Um, the 32 Ford Five Window Coupe Rat Rod Creation. Um, I'm working on some different lighting techniques. Um, I found these little spots at uh, Michael's, so I thought I'd mess around with these. Uh, hopefully it's, um, it's helping and not hindering. Um, anyway, so let's, uh, let's rip through this and uh, hopefully I can get this posted and, and uh, we'll, improve from, we'll improve from here. Um, here is the body. I'm working one-handed based on my, uh, my workspace, but uh, now would be a perfect time for the to, uh, I've got two more of these spots but um, there is the you know the paint job that uh, you might have seen earlier um, the firewall here um, believe it or not this metal piece um, it was uh, 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 a part of a bunch of dio stuff uh, train stuff that uh, a good friend of the family's gave me and it just seemed to fit perfect so i hit it with um i hit it with some pretty high grade uh or low grade some pretty you know gritty uh sandpaper and i put the skull on there so there is the the paint job I'm really I'm really enjoying it um, once again this thing sort of just uh, has been evolving on its own um, the rear tires here I decided to put some slicks on the back um, and uh, oh, yeah. I, I actually as you can see I added some chain to them um, as far as the Boy, I think these lights in the long run will work out once I get them situated properly. But um, I uh, I added the chain. I used gunmetal and a matte finish and sprayed them. I'll probably spray them again. Um, as far as the inside, the uh, the wheels themselves, um, I used um, the gunmetal. And then the copper, and then I did a, uh, and then I did a gunmetal wash again, um, to sort of to get uh, you know like I said I just keep going until I get to the point where I'm like uh, yeah that looks cool. Um, I'm gonna try to like I said I'm experimenting with some light here so. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty happy with the tires so far. Um, I am going to have to uh, reinvent the rear axle in order for it to sit wide enough outside of this. Um, the front tires, this is 
actually it's another um, it's uh, actually from a, I'm not sure what scale it is but from a, a train set um, you know like I said once again uh, I was blessed enough to have uh, a good friend of the family who used to be an architect and and uh, uh, you know before uh, uh, graphics and, and and digital you actually had to uh, you know show up to your client with with something uh, physical so he uh, he gave me this so I found these and I thought wow well this might look cool for a nice rake um, I found these little rubber rings this thing was actually it was really rusted out you can see the the grit on the inside um, that was rust so I gun metaled it um, let's see if I flip it around here gunmetal the outside and sticking with the you, know, you see the leather theme there and the copper and um, so I did a series of washes with uh, gunmetal and and um, and copper metallic uh, all folk arts um, you know it's given that sort of that burnt uh, you know that burnt aluminum burnt metal whatever you want to call it so you know whether this is going to be a rat gasser you know obviously uh, the front tires it's probably going to be more of a gasser but I think with the angle there and the rear tires uh, it's going to start looking pretty tight um, so let me move these oh move these out of the way real quick show you what else is going on um, the interior uh, once again just really worked out well for me um, you guys know that I, I love experimenting with fabrics uh, so um, yeah I just happen to have this sort of leather interior looking thing and uh, uh, this time I tried to pay a little more attention to the cuts um, you can see uh, I did weather it I actually used a lighter to sort of add some darker pigments to the uh, the seats themselves just to give it some depth some get, get you a little more of that 3d effect to it and as you can see on this side uh, well, you can or you can't but um, yeah so I'm just really happy with the way that's turning out I uh, to coin a phrase from uh, dr. cranky little gizmology um, I have no idea what these parts are um, where I found them but uh, they are now the brake and gas pedals um, and my brother asked me well do you use your feet or do you use your hands well you know I guess that's up to you uh, maybe it's a triple shifter or uh, you know I have no idea what I'm talking about but anyway and once again, to give some more props, uh, Benny Mac uh, says, hey, man, if it looks cool, put it in there. But uh, um, anyway, it's turned out really well. I used some fabric on the bottom. I used, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Elmer's spray adhesive to lay down all the, uh, all the fabric. Um, so that is looking really well. I've, I've got the interior or, or, or the side doors. Uh, in progress but um, uh, not really exactly sure uh, what to do with those and as far as the gear shift here you know I want something to come as like a true rat I want it to come up top out through you know out through the I cut the cut the roof off um, and I've got some things but they're just not perfect they're just not right so I'm waiting on that uh, okay the engine um, is in progress I've used copper I did a gunmetal wash over the copper um, you know uh, there might be some more weathering involved after this uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure this is still in the uh, right still in progress but I'm just really loving this build man really loving it I hope you guys are enjoying this video uh, it's just really turned out very cool um, which um, I'm sure you guys know you know it's, it's very exciting it's the wonderful thing about this hobby is that 
you know it's like all of a sudden you find a direction and it's like oh man can't wait to keep working um i took two dowels uh and glued them together as you can see i, eh, I probably could have done a better job of sealing them and getting rid of that glue line in the middle now this can either be uh the gasser the you know the fuel tank uh, fuel cell in the front um which i would like to do but i don't have a pin vise so if i'm gonna do it um i would actually really like to put some holes in here and connect it so it's very obvious why it's there and not like a you know uh saint bernard um well you know it's got the whiskey in there to to revive you but uh same deal took some old chain um matt coated it matt finished it uh you know it might look good in the back but i've been actually thinking about i wanted to do something interesting maybe a rumble seat in the back so uh, once again up in the air um i've got this piece which i thought might really look cool as a stack on the uh on the engine um and this i'm really really happy about uh this i found this gear well i've got a series of gears uh, i'll talk about where i got them some other time but um so this is going to be the steering wheel you know so um yeah so far so good my friends um uh really loving it and like i said these i think these lights are pretty interesting once I get an opportunity to, to get this set up, I've got two more, um, you know, try to try to bring out the best of, uh, of the video quality. But no, I'm, I'm really loving this build, guys. I hope, uh, you know, I hope you guys are, are feeling what I'm feeling and seeing what I'm seeing. Um, uh, anyway, man, much love, guys. Keep building um just having a blast and uh thank you for all my new subscribers uh another thing that i think we all should remember um hit the like button you know hit the like hit the thumbs up um for whatever reason um you know subscribers are great and i love you and i appreciate you so much and I, i'm in the process of actually trying to uh thank you all personally um but yeah man boom if you dig the video hit it and here here's the, here's the, here's the other deal guys um you know if you don't like what i'm doing you know if you're not comfortable saying it publicly and you want to pm me you know go ahead you know if you got constructive or deconstructive criticism man i mean everybody has the right to their own opinion and uh um you know that's what this whole community is about you know no if you're a douchebag i'm gonna i'm gonna call you on it if you get ignorant with me but <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding, man. Um, anyways, guys, much love. Uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying this build. The shop car is coming. Um, I just had to, and, and you guys are going to freak out. Let's just say it involves live... Um, well, let's just say it involves live fish. So it's going to be a very cool video. Um, all right, guys, thank you again for checking it out. Uh, peace, love, and happiness. Keep smiling. Um, you know, build creatively, build imaginatively, have fun. And um, you know what? Uh, I, I can't wait to wake up every day and see what's going on out there. So, all right, guys. Much love. Later.